Transfer resistant wear com what? Okay, up to 24 hour color wear. Oi! Oh, here we go. <laughs> wow, now I took a lot. <laughs> I needed it to take more product. Got it. Okay. I wasn't taking enough. Now it looks like mud. Oh, great. Not me messing up my own makeup. Like, what is this? See, see all this confusion? That was not my intention today. <laughs> What up, everyone? It's Sang. It's your girl, Minan Divya. And in this video, we are doing a full get ready with me. We're starting with hair. We're going to do makeup. I'll show you my outfit and we're gonna do fragrance. We're not gonna do nails because they're already done, although I do need to do them again, but just not in this video. If you're not already, make sure you are subscribed. When I'm not here, I am on TikTok and IG, so make sure you follow. They're both the same name, Minna underscore Adubia. And we're gonna just get started, okay? I just co-washed my hair, shower, did my skincare. In another video, I did my skincare first, and I would have done that, but I just did not wanna let my face get too dry so here we are now i am natural i have silk pressed my hair perhaps four or five times now so that it has stretched out my curls my curls look entirely different and then this last silk press she did give me a keratin treatment so all of that is just context to give you in case you're looking at my curls wondering what's going on i am the kind of natural who does what ever I feel like. So silk pressing and all of the other stuff doesn't concern me. I like to do whatever I wanna do with my hair. I'm just explaining in case you, when you see it, if you have issues with how it looks, it's you, not me, praise the Lord. Okay, this is the Sal Gennetto Brazilian Glossy Gloss something. And I co-wash my hair all the time. Whenever I feel like it, I co-wash it. Whenever I'm changing my hairstyle, I co-wash it. I co-wash it all the time. I don't use a co-wash product. I just use a conditioner to wash my hair. What kind of conditioner? Any conditioner I have. Or I have been using one from Tresemme. Someone commented that they were in a lawsuit, people losing their hair. I have not lost my hair and I haven't seen anything about a lawsuit. So that's what I use. I maintain the hydration in my hair by co-washing. So when I put an oil like this on, for instance, I'm just focusing on the front. I'm gonna end up washing co-washing my hair in a day or so anyway, so. It don't matter, girl. I'm doing a high bun today. I'm using this Eco Styler Gel with Argan Oil. I always use this one, and I like to put oil in my hair because I don't want my hair to look dull. And I use an ample amount of gel, baby, an ample amount of gel for my hair. It does what I need to do when it is co-washed. It's hydrated, and look at that. It already has laid, okay? And I used to do the same thing even when my curls were tighter. So oh, look at my curls in the ponytail. If you've been here for a while, you know that my ponytail was usually a lot poofier, right? <laughs> so look at my curls. Oh my God, it's like a whole new head. And I know some of the ends are straight. Don't plan on cutting them, doesn't bother me. It's just hair. So now I just took it very haphazardly and then I put it in a bun because I don't want this to be tight. I want the bun to still stick up a little bit, you know, protrude. So let's just leave it right here. How do we look? We crooked? Kind of. <laughs> Woo! So first step is gel. I do not stop there. I like for my hair to be laid down in a very slick fashion. This is not enough for me. Now to got to be glue, I use black one because it doesn't give me flakes like the yellow one. Yeah, the yellow one does, not my preference. I use an ample amount of this because why not? Again, I'm going to co-wash my hair, more than likely tomorrow. I just wash it whenever I feel like changing my hairstyle. And I have been taking the hair out of the bun at night just to make sure I don't get a headache and breakage. But I do love me a good bun, honey. Now, we ain't gonna do any swivels with this top knot today, so I'm just brushing it back. But you know, let's say I want it to, or whatever, then I could do a little, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I should, should I? I guess we're here now, right? <laughs> I wasn't going to, but I mean, I could. <laughs> and my hair is never fully dry by the time I'm leaving the house, which is fine. Thank you. 
then I take the black paper wraps that I love to use to allow air to penetrate my hair more than it would if I were to use a head tie. So that means it'll dry faster. And namely the front of my hair is going to dry really fast because obviously it's the less dense, which is perfect because when I go to do my makeup and I open up where the front area is to do my contour, it's already dry. And sometimes, honestly, I leave this on until I get close to my destination and then I rip it off in the car. Let's put on foundation. Now, I have not worn this Lancome Tanti Do Ultra Wear Foundation 24 hour in a minute. And my color was, perhaps still is, 555 Suede C. And if I recall correctly, this is a matte foundation, right? Transfer resistant, wear com, what? Okay, up to 24 hour color wear, oi! Up to 24 hour color wear and comfort transfer resistant. Girl, all these names, I can't. Okay, back of the hand, yeah, this is dark, but this is great because I have been outside, it's summertime, and I don't tan my face. So of course the sun is going to touch my face, but I'm not intentionally landing like, let my face get darker because signs of aging. <laughs> You know, like duh, the sun is very, very harsh, very dangerous, but I do love to get darker in the summertime. This still looks really good. Yeah, I love this shade, Suede C, so it has a cool undertone, which looks really good right now. Comment and let me know if this is gonna be one of your summer faves. When I did the video where I talked about summer foundations, I literally forgot about this one. So I went to my stash and I was like, wait a minute, I got long comb. I do also have an Estee Lauder foundation that I bought that foundation last year. Never even tried it, like never got around to it. I just, there's too much going on. And then it was sent to me and I was like, oh, I already have this, but and look at the shades. I'm gonna do a video actually. Comment and let me know if you have either or both of these, Tanti Do, Lancome, or Estee Lauder Double Wear. That's the shade, the, the that's the foundation. Let me know if you have it and which one of those is your favorite. I wanna know. So if I didn't tell you already, I'm headed to brunch. Well, it was supposed to be brunch, but girl, you know, in Houston, you need to have reservations on weekends, honey. So it's actually, it's going to be lunch, okay? We're going to this modern French location I've never been to before, so that should be fun. I'm gonna vlog it, you'll see that in a vlog. This video is just the getting ready part, obvi, because I love watching get ready with me videos and I know that y'all do too, hello, hello. And yeah, other than that, yo, it is summertime in full swing out here in Houston. I was saying to myself, you know what? I really want to incorporate a lot more downtime this summer because I am my own boss and inevitably I feel like I should always be working where the truth is I don't have to always be working. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you're not, you really should, then you'll have noticed that I don't post as much as I used to. I used to believe with research and evidence that I needed to post four times a day in order to, to grow and to maintain engagement on IG. Well, that simply isn't true anymore. It really isn't true anymore. I mean, I haven't grown, and it's not always about followers, but when I look at the number, for instance, I haven't grown on IG. I hadn't grown on IG in, what, a year or two? And then from posting reels, obviously, because reels are paramount, from posting reels and what? Posting a reel like three times a week, I grew. And I was like, wait, so I don't need to be hassling myself four times a day like this? And you know, of course, with the four times a day, I haven't used this Jaclyn Hill concealer in a minute. I'm gonna use this one, Deep Rich Golden. And I know I liked this. And my sponge is damp. I'll link all these products below. I hadn't posted four times a day in a long time and I hadn't grown in a long time. So I, I learned this year and I actually decided too that I just wasn't gonna come kill myself over content. I just wasn't. And you know, with pictures not even being important online anymore, I have thousands of pictures, of course, from selfies that I take from at when I'm filming a video like this and from photo shoots that I don't have much use for anymore. So if you've noticed on my vlogs, I don't go on photo shoots anymore. And I, I did transition to doing them at home, but I don't even do that because I just take my own pictures as needed, but obviously I focus more on video content and then I'm not posting as much. So for me right now, it's more quality over quantity. It's always been quality, but it's definitely no longer the quantity for me. And it's weird too, because I used to be on my IG stories a lot, but because because I do the vlogs, which I really enjoy, and then I do these chit chats, it's like, yo, it's so hard to manage. What do I see on the vlog? What do I see on IG stories? What do I say here? It, it can be so confusing. So, you know, I just do what I can. I do love 
IG stories. I love watching them. And then I get so caught up watching them that I forget to create my own or I'll create them in my camera roll. And then I'd be forgetting to post them because I spent all day either just living life, creating content and or watching other people's content that I forget to post mine. Isn't that insane? <laughs> like such a problem. Big time. Still loving the Fenty Beauty Toffee Tees Cream Bronzer. And speaking of bronzer, by the time you see this video, I will have already reviewed the new Charlotte Tilbury. Is it a cream bronzer? I saw Andrew Renee do a video on it. Can't wait to try it. I don't know if it's gonna be deep enough because you know I like for the bronzer. This is a contour, honestly. It's called a bronzer, but you know. It, 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 the terminology does get mixed up many times. <clears throat> this is a contour. Okay. And anyway, I do want to try that, that product out. I know that there'll be a video out at some point. I'll do that. But come in and let me know if you have tried that product or plan on it. I need to get a different brush. This brush is working, however. I just would like to use another one. See, there are lots of times where certain, this is from Rare Beauty, in case you're wondering. There are lots of times where a few brushes can get the job done. But when you have a few options for brushes, then you may choose one over the other as a preference. But what brush can get the job done? A few of them. In my bathroom, I use a more fluffy brush to do this part and I like it because it, it gets the area faster. Whereas this is at an angle and I'm having to go over it more to spread it out. It still works, just sometimes do I want to spend forever applying this product or do I wanna get it on quickly? That's what it all comes down to in my mind. So now for the nose, I'm going to contour. And you know, recently I have been spending more time or just being more intentional about my nose contour. I'm not just taking off the excess product from the brush. I actually want to apply a color because I missed the really defined nose contour. So I'm actually going in the middle of this product so that I'm not taking too much, but then now I feel like it's not enough. But starting just by going in the middle of this product and then down the side of my nose. Now I'm gonna go onto the actual product because I wasn't getting enough. The foundation color is dark than usual so you know that when you change your foundation color whether light or dark it's going to the other products if you keep them the same as if you're doing an experiment if you keep the other items the same control the other items but change one of them it's all going to look a lot differently so where this product might look darker on, a, on top of a different foundation right now i can't see it like i can't see it enough so i keep on applying but if i were to be using the kvd good apple bomb 98 oh no i would not be able to put on this much like is it wiping off my okay oh here we go <laughs> Wow, now I took a lot. <laughs> I needed it to take more product, got it, okay. I wasn't taking enough, now it looks like mud. Oh, great. Not me messing up my own makeup, like what is this? See, see all this confusion? Okay, let's fix this together. More concealer, this one is not too light either. This concealer is really, in my opinion, natural looking. It's not to stand out and, and I like it, okay? Pinching and then we're going to further highlight the nose to isolate out the contour. And really what we're doing is fixing this and then taking the back. So then we put the highlight back in the middle. However, my contour is crooked looking. So let's fix the crooked looking contour. Now I really will need to do this with powder because this is wiping off like it's not actually staying how i need it to and now yeah i'm gonna have to fix this with powder because it's too wide i need the nose to go narrow that's how i like it that's how i like it do what you want to do do what works best for you i'm going to take the back of the sponge and blend so that there are what no harsh lines okay he's worthy of all the honor and all of the praise our god is worthy our god is awesome Awesome men found, that's not the word, foundation. Mm. How does the song go? <laughs> not me wanting to break out in song to praise ye Jehovah, and I don't even know the words of the song I want to sing. Okay, so taking the Elf Cosmetics camo, I did a video on this, make sure you watch it on all three colors that I have. This one is tan 450N, okay? And I'm using this for my under, well, all the areas that I've concealed. All right, this is going to add more coverage, yes, in such a great way. And it's going to set the concealer, which I don't believe needs to be set, but this is just what I do. So here we are, and I'm using the Sephora 79 brush. And speaking of brushes that can be used for different things, this is a pro contour brush, but I prefer to use it because of its shape to set my under eye and all the other highlighted areas, okay? 
Oh my gosh, I was watching Transformation Church the other day and I was so blessed when I saw Fred Hammond. So when I saw Fred Hammond and he was saying, oh, that song, bread of life, send down from glory. Oh, hmm. many things you were on earth, a holy king, a carpenter. You are the living word, say. I just, oh, they're just certain songs. If you know, you know. There are certain songs that just touch my heart so deeply. I just cannot. And, and, and they're so nostalgic. That song brings me back into a time in life where I hadn't been saved. I had yet given my life to Christ. And I didn't even understand that I needed to do that as an adult, right? I just like a lot of things and just so, so good. I just thank God. This is the shade Rich 660N. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna use two palettes, the Wet n Wild color icon one, and then this Juvia's Place, the Rebel Army color, cause I'm wearing a, a green top, you'll see. And I wanna <laughs> match my top. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done something like that, but it, it just looks so cute when you match a little bit, you know? Just a smidge, just a smidge, yeah. Alrighty, so now in the crease, this, this does have a lot of fallout, so it's right in front of me getting this color for my crease. Let's put this in here. This is a reddish brown color, you know. Oh, and on my lid, I prepped with soft ochre from MAC. Oh, I forgot to set my concealer, but it still looks really good though. Let me set that, because it's, it's giving me some pull. Taking that same color, and this is a Sephora 19 brush. This is the same color I used to set the highlighted areas on my face. This is looking more mauve. Hold on, oh, I need to put a different palette in here. This is definitely giving mauve. Let me use this color up top here. I didn't want mauve, I wanted a more orange. Okay, well mauve and green will go together, but that was not my intention today. <laughs> so problematic, we have to just stick with it because we are here. This is the number 14 shadow brush from Sephora. It's fluffy and I'm gonna use it to go right underneath to bring this color down. See how right now the green is blending into this crease color and it's looking purple, so good. So I knew it was gonna come together. I'm taking more of that color. Now because it's mixing in with green, it's looking like dark purple. Cleaning off my brush in front of me, the same brush and then blending further. If you're wondering, this is a Thrive Cosmetics brush from ages ago. Can't even see what it says on it, okay? And I do wanna bring this green up into here more. I want it to be darker in here. So I'm taking some of that reddish brown color. It's this one right here in the color icon palette that is blending to make a purple. And then let's take some of this down to the bottom, the green color. It has been such a while since I put a pop of color inside my tear duct. So I'm using this Koki Professionals Royal Blue Velvet Smooth Eyeliner right inside here. And then I'm gonna use black to darken the bottom. But this is just gonna pop the eyes, honey. I'm wearing a green top and my pants are party style type pants. You know, so it'll go cute. I'll make sure my lip is nude to help this pop because I don't wanna do a party face today, okay? Ooh, ow, boom, bow. Take some black eyeshadow 
and going right under here to further smoke this out. All right, and for blush, I'm gonna use my hmm, tried and true Elf Cosmetics Always Spicy. And I'm gonna put some orange on top. Sephora Colorful Eyeshadows. There's one that I saw was really popular and it sold out. So I signed up for the alert for when it comes back. I haven't gotten it yet and I can't think of the name right now. This is the color Hot Flush. Just right there in the front. Yeah, my lashes should be ready. I already glued them with the Kiss INV glue. <sighs> Watch my video on how to apply false lashes if you are still struggling with that. Now you know how much I love using Lawless One and Done Mascara on the bottom. Ooh, it's just so good, honey. So let's go. I also did a video on how to do your eyeliner. So make sure you watch that video. Both very focused videos. One on eyelashes, one on eyeliner. And I used mascara in both videos. So it'll go over how to do that. Because believe it or not, there's a correct way to apply your mascara. Okay. Okay, look is done. And now let's take this off. The top middle is not dry. Like I said, it's never dry by the time I'm leaving, but it's just what it is. I left this on for uh, longer than usual, and this is what happens when I leave it on too long. It'll stick to the areas where I put the got to be. So you gotta be very careful not to forget, because <laughs> I've done that. If you saw my vlog when I was going to New York, I was in the airport and I was like, well, I noticed it afterward that I still had some pieces of paper. So there is a fine line between leaving it on to dry a bit and then leaving the paper on for too long with the got to be. With the gel, it doesn't happen. It's with the got to be, okay? And then wherever it looks ashy, because I've left it on for so long, I'm gonna just do this. Get some of your saliva, honey, and pick up that black paper. <laughs> and you Gucci, boo-boo. Like for real. Okay, okay, okay. Everything is good. Good to go. And honestly and truly, maybe I'll get an oil sheen because then I can bring my hair with oil sheen. Natural hair just looks really good when it looks oily. And natural hair does not look good in my opinion when it looks dull. So I'm gonna get some oil sheen. My hair does look oily though. What do you think? Comment and let me know what you think about this look already. Outside is the lip bar savage. Inside, I'm sorry, it is ColourPop slow down. It's no longer nowhere to be found. I still have so many lippies that I love that I can't, that are not available to shop. I know, I get it, I hate it, and I'm sorry. Let me go change and put on my fragrance and my jewelry and I'll show you and then I'm gonna head out. Okay, so here's my outfit. Now, I got this top from Shein maybe a year ago or so. I can't imagine that it's still available, but if it is, I will link it for you. My jewelry is JBW, Amazon, Hermes and Amazon, I'll link them. This fragrance is actually from men, but I love it so much. Valentino, it's the Eau de Toilette, whatever, Coral Fantasy, something, something, something. So it's men's, but it's, it smells very sweet. And I really do love it. I'm gonna drench my, drench myself. Really? Because like, why not? The heck? If you're like me and you drench yourself in your fragrance, <laughs> let me know. And then these pants are really old too. I think these are Fashion Nova. I can't remember, but this is an older outfit. These shoes are a pretty little thing a year or so ago. I know, I need to do a current shopping session, but this is my outfit for today. And I'll see you in the next video.